Live Bands is Michelle Joy Phelps with Boxing Social in partnership with FreeBets.com, Forge Irish Stout, and Empire Fight Store. And I'm joined now, now with Jericho O'Quinn. Jericho, it's good. To, uh, congratulations on your win tonight. Thank you. It's, it's Jericho. Jericho, I apologize. Yeah. Jericho, um, congratulations on your win tonight. You said that you knew that you couldn't let it go, go the distance. Exactly. Well, here it is. It ain't go to the decision. Mm -hmm. hey, I, I stuck to my word when mm -hmm. the cameras came back here. I knew I couldn't let it go to the decision because I ain't like how the decisions was going, how the scorecards was going on some of the fights before mine. So, and had that fight been going the opposite way, that was me winning the fight and McGrill losing, I, and it went to the decision, I still wasn't going to get the decision. So mm -hmm. I knew I had to win by a, a big way, you know. Let's talk about how everything switched on in the fifth round. What was it that you were saying to yourself mentally um, that made you go in and secure the knockout? My coach was telling me, we got to get this motherfucker. We got we to gotta <laughs> go get him. We got to go at him. Stop um, going back. We got to go at him. And um, I knew he was getting confident. He was getting confident because he scored the knockdowns. And he, I knew he was feeling himself doing his little shuffle and shit. And he was getting too confident. He ran into it. And I was working on catch and shoot, catch and shoot, catch and shoot. Mm -hmm. And I caught his right hand. And he, ste he stepped to the side and shot, boom. He ain't see it coming. Mm -hmm. And the punches you don't see, they hurt you the worst. Talk, let's talk a bit about the animosity that you guys have had with one another leading up to uh, of tonight. Where did that all begin? That began soon. The day the contracts got signed, a list of my girls jumped on my Instagram, on my mm -hmm. DM, got to talking shit. Um, <laughs> they got to saying, I don't deserve to share the ring with them. I'm going to get knocked out. Um, all type of shit. You, you said know? that you felt that they cherry picked you. They did cherry pick me. He said that I was perfect for him. Mm. After my last fight, he said I'm that's perfect for me. So he, he don't know what perfect is. <laughs> he should have picked somebody else. <laughs> he found out. <laughs> he picked the wrong cherry. He thought I was a cherry and I was a fuck around. I was a beat or whatever you could call the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, obviously the fight just happened and and. Not only did you secure the win, but you secured it in beautiful fashion. But overall, when you do think back in the first four rounds, how did you feel about your performance? Uh, I knew his style was gonna kind of give me problems. Honestly, I did. Cause all the jumping around, jittery, all that shit. I know it was gonna give me problems. And, uh, but I know I kept faith, and uh, I never gave up. I never looked defeated. Um, he scored a knockdown. I stacked to a plan. I listened to my coaches. I told my coach, like, he, um, he jittery and shit. I'm mm -hmm. trying to catch him. My coach, stop trying. You got it. Stop crying. You know how to do this shit, you know? And then next thing you know, y'all can hear the, um, on, um, what's that shit called? The, the sports tracks um, from the mic, mm -hmm. the coach's corner. Y'all gonna hear it. Coach is telling me, you got it. He's like, stop trying. You got it. You don't want to do it. And what'd he do? Yeah, he, up, he said, stop trying. We here to do it. And that's what happened. So looking at the cut over your left eye, how many stitches did you have to get in there? Uh, four, I think. Mm, okay. Yeah. So obviously we have the holiday coming up and um, going into 2024, what do you see for yourself? Uh, I just stole Christmas. So uh, <laughs> I just, hopefully it's uh, on the bigger and better things. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They keep on saying a rematch. I feel like uh, if, it was, if, it, if it went to the decision and I got a close decision or something like that, then yeah, you know, or yeah, yeah, I ain't got no problem getting a rematch. When you win by knockout, you don't get a you don't get a rematch, but I ain't got no say so or nothing. You know what I'm saying? And if we do do the rematch, it's gonna be in Belfast, mm -hmm. not Liverpool. <laughs> Why Belfast in particular? Because I'm because cause we gonna meet me. He gonna meet me somewhere, and they're not gonna be in his hometown. We not in my hometown. I'm not. In, we not in Detroit. We not in my backyard. We ain't in the states, but we far from my house, mm -hmm. far from the where I live. Far. Well, happy holidays. Congratulations. Uh, it's one way to, to, to sign off for 2023. Any final words? Anything else you would like to say? Uh, is there anybody, actually, you know what, let me ask you this. Is there anybody on your hit list that you do want for 2024? Uh, I ain't really got nobody in particular on my hit list. Mm -hmm. uh, it's whoever, whoever ahead of me. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I ain't looking at people that's below me. I'm looking at people that's heavy. I'm trying to climb the rankings and get closer to that uh, them war titles. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, if you support me, my new supporters, I appreciate y'all. Got nothing but love for y'all. Um, the fans and my Irish fans, my Arizona fans, my mm -hmm. Detroit fans, my fans, whoever a fan of me, 
I appreciate y'all. If you believe in me, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we're going to keep going up after this. Well, all the best to you and uh, in the coming year. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Bye, Fi fans.